Hi YouTube, welcome to New Skin RN, channel where new skin is made simple. And so this is my first video with content and I was trying to think about what I should discuss for my first content video. And believe it or not, I was inspired by one of the rooms in my house that has yellow walls. And so I said, why don't I speak about triad? So you can see it here, note the yellow too, but this is where the inspiration came from. Now, before I get started, I do want to mention that I am not a paid spokesperson for the makers of Triad. I have no financial interest or relationship in the company. I'm just talking about it because I like it and wanted to share my own experiences. There is a link below to Coloplast, which is the company that makes Triad. And so I highly advise that if you're interested in this product, first you go there and learn more about this product. And of course, you always want to speak to a physician before you do anything. Okay, so why Triad? Because I find that Triad does what it says it's going to do, which is to promote a moist healing environment and in doing so, facilitate something called debridement. What is debridement? Debridement is the removal of necrotic or dead tissue. Why is that important? It's important because if the goal is wound healing, you have to prep the wound. And one of the most important things you can do in order to achieve that wound prep is to do a debridement. Necrotic or dead tissue foreign debris serves as a food source for bacteria, and so bacteria is really happy when there's necrotic tissue present. It allows it to grow. And so as you can imagine, that is contradictory to wound healing. And so this is why debridement is so important for any wound care plan where the goal is wound healing. And so triad facilitates debridement. Now, there are other forms of debridement available, okay? But just know that triad helps to clean up a wound right and so here's a picture of a wound that could benefit from a debridement and if you note you'll see the yellow necrotic tissue which is bad for wound healing okay so about how i got introduced to triad a few years ago i worked as a wocn in a hospital and i had a patient young man with crohn's disease and for those of you who are familiar with crohn's disease you also know that besides the gastrointestinal effects one of the things that can happen is they can develop wounds, very painful wounds, very necrotic wounds. And so this patient had wounds to the perineal area, so the groin, where genitalia is located. Yellow, necrotic, draining, painful. And so he said to us, in the past, I've used triad with good results. So he said, tell us more about it. He did, and we used it. And I have to say, I was really impressed with what I saw over a very short amount of time. The wounds, in fact, got better. And so a few years went by, I kind of forgot about the product, and I was reintroduced to it about two years ago when I had a patient with low extremity venous wounds that were in serious need of a debridement, and I was blown away once again by how it cleaned up the wound so nicely. And so from there, I, I began to regularly use Triad across a wide range of wounds and if you go to the website they can tell you more about the wounds um, from partial to full thickness wounds venous ulcers pressure injuries there's a wide range in which you can use this product so a little bit more about triad uh, it is considered a hydrocolloid type of product so here is a hydrocolloid dressing and it's a wafer and it's almost like a second layer of skin. And we also use this in wound care for shallow wounds with low amounts of drainage. And this too can help with moist wound healing and facilitate debridement. And so just know that Triad falls into the category of a hydrocolloid type of dressing. The other thing is that there is a HIPPIC code. And so for those of you who are concerned about reimbursement, here's the HIPPIC code below. It does have one. So that's helpful information to know. Now, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of Triad, all right? Let's start with the pros. One big major pro is that it is cost-effective. So we know that there's a difference between price and value. And so the 2.5 ounce container, which is right here, okay, is about $15 and so that's a great price and for what you're getting, which is, like I said, the ability to promote debridement of a wound and fairly quickly, I think that's phenomenal. The second benefit or pro is that it's easy to use. And so if you are concerned about education of clinicians or perhaps family members that are using this on a patient, just know that all it involves is with a gloved finger, squeezing the ointment and this is 
the consistency of it, almost like a pasty type of material. You see that? Uh, just squeezing that along a gloved finger, and then you can spread it thick layer across a wound. And that's it. And so ease of use, definitely try it as that product. The other thing about try it is that it adheres to difficult to dress areas and wet skin. If you remember from my example, when I spoke about the patient from a few years ago with perineal wounds, putting a dressing on in that area will be almost difficult to achieve. It's not going to stick. It's not going to adhere. It's just not going to happen. And so the benefit of try it is that it is designed to adhere to difficult to dress areas such as the sacral coccygeal area, the perineal area, and it also adheres to wet skin. So not only is this product effective in a wound, it's effective on the peri wound. Now, here's a picture of maceration. Maceration is wet wound margins, and this typically results from a wound that's draining a lot, and perhaps the dressing being used is not absorptive enough to manage that drainage, or perhaps the frequency of dressing changes is not where it needs to be. Bottom line, maceration is a bad thing. And so try it is nice because you can use it in difficult to dress areas along with not only in a wound, but to the peri wound skin that may have issues with maceration or denuded skin. So try it helps to treat maceration. Another benefit, a covered dressing is not mandatory. It's not required. Okay, so again, going back to placement in difficult to dress areas, such as the perineal area, you put the ointment on, you don't need a cover, okay? You can use a cover for it if you're using it on a lower extremity wound, such as a venous ulcer, but otherwise, just know that that's optional. So if you go back to the cost effectiveness, if you're using one product versus two, then that's a benefit as well. So no cover dressing required. It depends on where it's going. And what I find is that as it compares to say hydrocolloid, which you may use for the sacral coccygeal area, that can sometimes tug and roll. Again, when you think about standard dressings in that area, very difficult to maintain or adhere. Try it has the benefit of adhering to wet skin, difficult to dress areas, all right? The other thing is that Try it has a longer wear time. So this is a big plus in wound care. When possible, we try and choose products that have a longer wear time because if you're changing the dressing too frequently, that can actually affect wound healing. It can drop the temperature of a wound, allow for bacteria to enter the wound, things that we don't like. And so we tend to look for products and many advanced dressings today are made to where it can last for a few days and try it can remain, remain in place for five to seven days. And that's a major benefit. Okay, so those are the pros. Now let's talk about the cons. And one con is that it's actually not recommended for an infected wound. And again, the information is on the website. So if I have a wound that's infected or I suspect it's infected, I'm not going to use Triad. The other con is that it may be a little difficult to remove. It is a zinc oxide based cream. And again, I'm going to show you the consistency of the product. It is uh, thick. And so when you apply it, it may harden as the days go on. And so when you're removing it, that might be a bit of a challenge, but they actually make a cleanser that is designed to help clean that off. Even if you didn't have that, you can use any wound cleanser. The point is to take your time and it will come off. And so there you have it, the pros versus the cons. And if you look at what I've said, the pros are far more than the cons. And this is why for me, in my experience, Triad has been uh, a nice tool in my bag as it relates to treating patients. So there you have it, my first video about Triad. I hope you found this informative. Please make sure to subscribe and I look forward to you guys joining me again. Moonskin RN, Wounds Care Made Simple. Thank you. Bye-bye.